These are my upgraded DJI goggles. They give me more power, range, and stability when flying my FPV drone. I've had a bunch of comments on the last couple of videos asking me to go over them and if it's actually worth the upgrade. So let's get into it. I've been getting a ton of comments on my videos asking what these goggles are. I've seemingly upgraded like every aspect of my FPV kit that I possibly could. And this is a big one. The goggles are the original DJI V1 goggles that I got from the DJI FPV system. These have just stayed with me for the last four years, I think. I should also preface the fact that I fly completely DJI systems. So if you're flying any of the DJI drones, like the Avada, the FPV, Avada 2, anything like, these will work for you regardless of like what DJI FPV drone you're flying. What's different about it is obviously the antennas. These antennas are not the default stock DJI ones. These antennas are the Maple Wireless Mjolnir Pros. You might be thinking to yourself, why did you decide to change the antennas on the goggles? Aren't the default DJI goggles like good enough? They're usable. I think that's the best way to describe it is that they're usable. Like you can fly around and you can have good signal, but when it comes to getting bigger range, so your area of activity increases, when it comes to penetrating your signal through objects, the DJI goggles are just not that good. So where can you find these antennas? I think the most affordable for me was just getting it off of like one of these sites, uh, like AliExpress, Alibaba, uh, Timu, and they shipped it really quick. It got here in a month. The biggest thing is that when I got these antennas, all I needed to do was unscrew my old default DJI stock antennas, and then just follow a few simple steps to mount these antennas on and then screw on the antennas and I was done. Like there's no updating of your firmware or systems. There's no coding or programming necessary. It's literally just plug and play. So it makes it super, super easy to upgrade your DJI gear and just to have an elevated experience. FPV is something that I'm really enjoying at the moment and I've been loving flying and just creating all of this and it's just been so fun. In addition, it's been so fun to make these videos for you guys explaining my setups, how I upgrade my things and just little by little sharing more and more about my my real like love for FPV and capturing cinematic footage and, and all that. Yeah, it's just really cool to be able to share all of this on YouTube. And so with that being said, everything that I use in my videos, the music, the sound effects, I get everything from Artlist. Artlist is the place where I get all of my editing assets from like the music, the sound effects, and it helps me to create these videos uh, and be able to put it up on YouTube, which is awesome. So they've kindly partnered up with me and given me a link so you can get yourself two months extra on an annual subscription. So you get 14 months for the price of 12, which is awesome. Overall, I think the biggest pluses for this upgraded DJI goggles set is number one, the range, the power. When I'm flying, I don't feel as restricted. I'm able to go farther and then also have confidence that I'm able to fly indoors to outdoors. There was this one shoot that I did a few months ago and we were at this beautiful ocean front Airbnb. And basically I wanted to fly from like the start of the property all the way through the house and then out the other end. And the, the house was made out of like really strong wood, lots of concrete, lots of windows, just, just a lot of obstacles. When I had these goggles on, I was so much less concerned because the penetration of the signal from the antennas is so much stronger. I didn't lose signal at all flying through the house. Like everything was perfect. I think I'm 
might have lost a little bit of like that HD transmission when getting to like the very end. But as soon as I popped out the other end, the transmission was totally fine. And I was able to fly very long distances at the shoot and just capture like so much awesome footage going from indoor to out. It was just a phenomenal time. The second biggest thing is like the functionality of it. So the fact that there's no antennas poking out of the sides that could get hit, knocked over, cracked, bent, whatever it is, that then damages your goggles. For these ones, the antennas are screwed in and the antennas are actually at the front. So there's really nothing that's like protruding or poking out so that there's like never any risk of getting it damaged. Like I've had my goggles for four years now and I've never had to replace them because I've had these antennas for like so many years. They've worked perfectly fine. They've never broken. You know, I don't have to continually take them off and put them back on. Like when I installed these antennas on my goggles, I didn't take them off at all. It's a big plus, you know, setting up FPV takes a while. So you want to just like cut to flying as fast as possible. Thirdly, the last thing is like aesthetics. Like these things look so damn cool. The original DJI goggles, they kind of make you look like a bug. Like they got these antennas poking out. I think the version twos are much better. On a side note, you can get the Maple Wireless G2s, which are basically the same antennas as these ones that I have on right now, but for the newer DJI goggles. You don't need to have the version that I have. You can have the newer ones and still put on better antennas for better connection, better range, and then just overall like better aesthetic looks and stuff. There's different configurations for these antennas. You don't have to take the ones that I have. There's plenty of other options out there. There's lots of different variations. You just kind of got to dig into what you prefer and, and your style of flying. But overall, upgrading your antennas on your DJI goggles is only going to make your setup and your experience better. Something that I've been working on for the past little bit is a big data set library of all the information that I've gathered over the last couple of years from flying FPV professionally, doing it for big hotel chains and traveling around and just having so much fun. Throughout the years, I've been able to utilize my FPV skills in order to get free stay at like beautiful places all around the world, be able to travel and like stay in these places without having to spend a fortune. And so everything that I've learned, I wanted to compile it into this data set library on Notion. I've been building it out. It's looking amazing. And yeah, I'm going to have email templates, contracts, how to network, how to reach out to these hotels and clients, get paid and free stays, and just so much value. I'm super, super excited to continue to put it together and then launch it soon. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But on a real note, when I was flying with my DJI default antennas, the ones that you just get straight from the box, I flew it around all throughout America in like these different beautiful spots. And I did a bunch of shoots with them. Don't get me wrong. They're still good antennas and they work. But I noticed time and time again that going the slightest bit of distance out of range, your drone just becomes unresponsive. It's really difficult to control it and have that confidence to go around obstacles, go indoor and outdoor, fly long distances. And I think it takes away from the experience of FPV. Overall thoughts, you honestly can't go wrong. I know that when or if I do upgrade to the Avada 3 or to the newer version 2 goggles from DJI, like I immediately know that what's default on there is going to be usable and it's good as almost like a backup. Like that's what I personally use my antennas for is if anything happens, like you always want to have backup, you always want to have spares for your FPV kit. And I personally use the default stock antennas as the backup. These antennas, the Mjolnir Pros that I'm using right now, it's under $100. Just makes the experience so much better. You don't damage your goggles, you get better range, better flying experience. Overall plus, there's really no negative at all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's more that you want to find out about my kit or anything about FPV or creating, let me know down in the comments below. I will catch you guys in a new video very, very soon. Peace.